With this, you can run uh, a remote water pump wherever you want it to be and uh, run lines to your water pump manifold on the front of your motor. Uh, just trying to you know, push the envelope of what we can do and uh, our capabilities, trying to step up to cooler, newer uh, products that we see a need for in the industry. Uh, I'm Jordan, engineer and uh, designer at ICT Billet. Today we're talking about the uh, water pump manifold for your electric water pumps, uh, remote mounted. With this, you can run a remote water pump wherever you want it to be, run lines to your water pump manifold on the front of your motor. The project's been in development for a few months. Um, it just started out as kind of a talk between me and the other designer. I did just the programming, everything on Mastercam, figuring out the tooling, running it through Veracut. He started just kind of drawing some things up. Well, and it looks good. It, uh, it's got the ICT billet name behind it. Kind of more, more race style and have an electric water pump maybe mounted uh, in the trunk or something. Water manifold helped us kind of tap into the drag racing side of cars a little bit heavier because we were able to produce something that a lot of guys will use when they are maybe doing a street car or a full blown race car. The process started out with uh, design being supplied, um, kind of working back and forth with the designer that did it, figuring out, making sure it will accommodate all the current tooling that we have and everything. From there, we went ahead and fixtured it up onto one of our, our Trunnion machines. Programming typically looks like one, like I said, will be supplied a model. We will put it into SolidWorks and create a fixture for it, then put it into Mastercam, and we will run through um, programming the drill depths, uh, thread mill depths for the 16AN ORB, chamfer depths, widths of the chamfer, it's getting all the tools to, to the right heights. So one of our kind of hangups with doing something new like this was it's got a, all, all three sides of the part, there's four, all three sides had to get touched. We have a eighth inch NPT steam port or a ventilation hole on one side. And then on the two other ends, you've got the 16A and ORB ports. So one of the big things was, was how can we fixture this on a single fixture to run two, three, maybe four ops with Ryan, we talked about the uh, how we could accomplish this doing a one-piece design with our current situation on machines and tooling that we had, discussing what size holes we wanted th for the through holes for the uh, feed and return side of the, the water manifold. General things about how far to keep a wall off of like a boss or something so it doesn't rub the tool. So the main consideration to go with the 16AN is the majority of the radiators that we deal with are um, around the 16AN hose size. So this is kind of staying in line with the radiator radiator generally. Um, our initial talks were what, what size to do the inlet and the outlet. Does the inlet need to be bigger than the outlet? What can we accomplish by doing this? Is it going to allow us to run our current bracketry? Do we have to create a whole new lineup of brackets for the electric water pump remote mounted style deal? And it turns out we did. It kind of opened up the line to a lot more products with the remote manifold. Just kind of have more options for every car guy. My favorite part of the process is honestly the very end, when we get to run it through Verica and truly see kind of what we're going to be dealing with, seeing that it's, you know, completed enough that it can run through Verica and have no errors. It's really exciting because we know we're not too far away from making it on the mill. Having a supportive company like ICT Billet, they allow us to kind of push the envelope of what we've all previously done in the years and try new things. That's going to allow us to just keep expanding into, you know, more unique and cool products. Thanks for hanging out with us on this project. Look, I get it, this part's kind of annoying, but smashing the like button, subscribing, and hitting the bell really helps us out. Trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss out on what's coming next. Stay tuned for more awesome projects.